In chapter 4, I learned that the temperament you are born with remains the same throughout your entire life. My mom told me that when I was born, the nurses laid me on her stomach and I just looked at her and was very chill and relaxed, much like my temperament today. I have a very laid-back, calm personality. I also learned that the older a person is, when they attempt to have children, the more complications could arise. My great-grandmother was beginning to enter menopause as she had two children later in her life. Both were born with Down syndrome. The doctors told her that it was possibly due to her eggs not being as viable as when she was young. It may also have been due to my great-grandfather's sperm being less healthy as well. Because I learned that, it could have been from either one or a combination of the two factors. When the egg is, in, when the egg is fertilized and the zygote forms in the womb and all throughout the embryo's development, I also learned that stress factors on the expectant mother can be a cause for many of the issues that can occur during pregnancy and childbirth. I have an older sister who was born seven weeks premature and I and needed constant care and monitoring in the National Intensive Care Unit of the hospital. She stayed in the hospital's care for over three weeks being so premature. She has always been much more susceptible to illnesses and diseases, mainly upper respiratory due to undeveloped lungs at her birth. She still has to be careful with respiratory illnesses and seek medical attention at the first symptoms or pneumonia could set in quickly. She also was slower with some of her cognitive development which was believed to be in relation to her premature birth. I learned that younger adults have sharper memories than older adults. An experiment showed that when asked to remember a group of names, the younger generation was able to remember more names than the older generation. The older generation remembered a few more when given the information a second time, but still not as many names as the younger generation could remember.